Hey everybody, welcome back to our series where we cover all the gear that we use to make our films. And today we're gonna to talk about the newer on-camera LED light. So for those who don't know, Neewer is a company that makes cheap film gear and they sell it on Amazon and it's very, very affordable. And this is one of the items that we bought from them. It is an on-camera LED light. It takes six AA batteries. It also has the option to take Sony style batteries. Uh, and it's a great little portable light that you can bring anywhere. So how do we use this light? Well, we use this light in two situations. One, when we're doing product shots actually, and we want to kind of get a cool effect where we, you know, bring the light from one side to the other to get a cool effect. We actually use that a lot in our DJI Osmo review video. The other place we use it is actually for kind of quick interviews. So sometimes we do event coverage and then really quickly after the event, we have to get interviews with people who attended the event. Now we don't have time to set up a big lighting setup. And so it's nice to have this little on-camera LED and throw it up on a lighting stand and have some light on the subject. Even that little light is enough to make the shot quite a bit better. And other situations where we just can't bring our big lighting setup, this little LED light works really, really well. All right, so what's our setup for this light? Pretty simple. We have six AA batteries that go into the light and on the bottom of the light, there is a cold shoe mount, but also a little quarter 20 thread in there. So what we do most of the time is we just screw it onto a light stand, throw up the light stand and aim the light on our subject. All right, so what do we like about this light? Well, first of all, it's pretty cheap. Um, you know, it's about $30, $40 Canadian, which is really good for a very, very bright light, which is really nice. The other thing we like about it actually is it comes with a couple of accessories. It actually comes with a little diffuser. So there's a little thing that you can put in front of the LEDs to create a lot softer light. There's even a tungsten filter, which creates a bit more of an orange light, because by default, it's a bit more daylight color, which is really nice. So the accessories that it comes with is, is quite nice. The other thing we like about it is where the cold shoe mount is, you can actually tilt the light. So it's actually very easy to aim this light, which is really nice. Another nice feature is it's got a little readout of the battery life. So you can press a little button and tells you how much battery life is left. This thing does suck through six AA batteries pretty quickly though, I have to say. And then the last thing I'll mention is that this thing is surprisingly bright. Like I said, we've used this for interviews in cases where we can't bring our huge big lighting setup and it actually shines quite brightly, so much so that I actually had to dim it a little bit. Which brings me to another point, that this thing actually has a dimmer, so you can actually turn it very bright or dim it down. And a lot of times it's so bright that I actually have to turn it down halfway, or like 50% or so. So it's actually a really good all around little light that you can use to add a little bit of texture to your shots. All right, what don't we like? It definitely sucks through those six AA batteries quite fast. I mean, we've gotten through a couple of short interviews without issue, um, but you know, if you're starting to get into maybe half an hour of having this thing on, it'll definitely start to dim and you'll start to see it flicker towards the end. Another thing is I'm not so sure about the quality or color of the light. Now we haven't really done any official tests, um, but I'm sure it's not necessarily the highest CRI values or whatever um, to get accurate color lighting. So if you're kind of using it as a high quality light, you know, what can you expect? It's 30, $40, you're not gonna get that. And that's pretty much it. It's been a nice little versatile light that we've used in a lot of situations that I didn't think we would use it in. You know, the fact that we can prop it up when we don't have any other lighting is a really useful case. I mean, sometimes, you know, you always say like the best camera you have is the one that you have with you. Well, the same thing kind of goes with this light. I mean, when you talk about big lighting setups, it's hard to do that all the time, right? And sometimes places that you go into won't even allow it or it's, it's just awkward to find a socket. You know, this little tiny little light shining is really, really good. All right, that's it guys. If you have any questions at all about this gear, leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel as we're trying to produce more and more content. All right, we'll see you guys in the next one.